Well, uh, my name's Seth. I'm the director of this film. Uh, this is actually my third year doing the 24-hour filmmaking competition, so I'm quite a veteran. I think, you know, we got this. Nobody else really has a chance against it, you know, and I'm directing, honestly. I've done a good bit of acting myself, too, so I think I, you know, I, I know how to communicate with actors very well. I know how to get the kind of aesthetic that I'm looking for. Honestly, I think it's, it's quite a gift to, uh, be able to come to an understanding of something like that, you know, and just, I've got it. I am Seth, the other Seth, I guess, uh, and, uh, I'm the writer for this production. I've won a couple prizes. I won the, uh, Wyatt Earp Prize for Best Western Screenplay, sponsored by Best Western. They, I won, like, uh, free week at one of their hotels. So I got involved with this production uh, when the director, Seth, uh, invited me to, uh, to join this uh, film competition. I thought it was really exciting. So I started thinking about it, you know, we didn't know in advance what our props were going to have to be or anything, and I liked, I liked that idea. I liked the idea of just kind of like winging it, you know? I hope it goes down without a hitch, really. I need this. I need this to work. Um, so I'm Ellen. Uh, I'm the DP, I guess, for the day. Uh, I sort of owe Seth a little bit of money from some card games that I lost. So that's kind of how I got roped into this today. Well, my name's Natalie, and so I guess I'm working with Boom today because, um, I'm a musician and they think that means I know something about sound, so, you know, I've always had really good hearing though, so I guess that helps. I used to use echolocation when I walked around. This is Autumn. Yeah, I'm Autumn. Um, I've been drawn to light since I was really young and so I really like working with lights. I love bright things and... I remember when you were little we used to have to keep you away from the bug zapper. I know, because I really like the bug zapper. Yeah. Well, we've got... Stuffed animal, and we've got face paint, and we've got you talking to me. So let's say that there's like a diamond hidden inside this like teddy bear, you know, and can't like just stop you now. All right, yeah. That sucks. No. So what do you want to use then? No teddy bear. We need something more masculine, more, more phallic. Phallic, okay. Yeah. okay. Like a, a snake. Phallic stuffed like animal. Like a snake. So, uh, how are we going to use our face paint? Well, I had a huge list of ideas and you shut them all down, so... Dude, it should totally be a mime. There you go. See? It doesn't take that much effort to be a writer. I mean, honestly, dude, I mean, I'm not even a writer. Okay, all right. This is just our boom up. You know, I'm, I'm useless. I mean, actually, sad. mime is a really good idea. Mime is a great idea. Yeah, you better. I love it. I love it. There's a lot there. I love it. Let's go with the mime. All right. So, uh, does anybody have a snake? Stuffed one or something? No, I don't, uh, I don't mm -mm. have one. Mm. So I guess we gotta buy one. So, uh, you wanna go out and go on a run for us? Yeah, sorry. Right. So the mime, you know, he can't be like, uh, he can't be hating on the snake. He has to love the snake. He has to really just love the snake. Like that snake that you wanted. The snake? Anyway, I got it at this uh, weird shop that I found uh, called Herschel's uh, Hexes and Curses or something like that. Are you kidding me? Here, let me see that. Let's make a fine one. What the hell is this? How is this supposed to be a masculine symbol? It's got flames all over it. This is a gay snake. Why are you talking to her? Why aren't you talking to me? Well... Is she the director? Yo! Hey! Cut the talking, alright? Need to get in character. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do this. Hey, come on guys, I said five, it's been seven. Ooh, it's it's Where, uh... Where the a snake? I know. It was just there, I was just here. Zoe, can you go see if you can find that? Oh, what? Oh, here's what we're looking at. Uh, we're starting with this scene right here. 
and we want to kind of go through these motions. Really, you know, try to get a feel for the snake. Oh, she's got the snake. Okay, well, that's good. Nice job. Oh, oh. Here, here, give me. Maybe we should. Oh, oh. I got it. Okay. Um, well, she said she had a hard night last night. She she passed out. Yeah, just leave her. She's fine. All right, well, so we're about halfway through filming, and uh, everything's going pretty well. Yeah, I think we've gotten a lot done, and and uh, the PA passed out in the bathroom. Yeah, she had a really rough night. She went out to a party. I wonder what the story is behind that. I don't know, but she's not here anymore. I guess hey. she just kind of disappeared. Hey! Ah! So I guess we're going on a beer run. Because the director's a bastard. And apparently we don't have a PA. Uh-oh. Why are you still here? Bye. This is not, this is not the movie that I wanted to make. This is, this is something dark and really quite scary. This, this director, we're holding production while, while these girls go on a beer run. Uh, so I don't really even know. What the hell? God! Oh my, oh my, God! What the hell's going on here? I don't know, dude. Seth, they're dead. They're dead. What the f I gotta call the police? Don't. Oh, f dude. I have put way too much time and effort into this film to let it be ruined by some shit like this. No. No. It's not gonna happen. I gotta bury the bodies. We gotta do it. It's. It's sad that they had to die, but they were expendable. Holy shit. Let's get out of here. What the f is going on? I don't know. That snake is ruining my f***ing movie. I don't see him out of here. What the f do we do? Are you talking to me? The, the window! So, there's, there's only two of us left. Um, the snake has us trapped in here. As I'm speaking, I'm, I'm downloading the footage onto a USB drive, so... Hopefully it makes it to the hub by 8 a.m. tomorrow and people can know what happened.